Hello everybody, today we're looking at a Rhine Electronics 4-speed fan control model UC9020 and of course this was actually a modern fan company model 001 and I believe Emerson also sells it as the SW46. I had it up for about eight days and in the middle of the night it just quit working. So let's take a look and see why the hell it's not working. I took it apart and there's a big clue. You can see all this black stuff in here. I think we maybe know what's going on. And looking in here, you can see these two wires up here. You can see there used to be some sort of an element in there. I thought maybe it was a resistor. But looking on the back here, you can see it says F1, which means it's a fuse. And basically I looked, and this fuse is in series with uh, this wire here by my thumb. You can kind of see it, it comes in, goes through the fuse, it comes back, and then it goes through the switch assembly. You can see there's a switch assembly in here. You can see the, the oops. See how there's four switches? And as you move the slider up and down, you connect each of those different four bumps. You know, actually five bumps. There's off, you know, one, two, three, and four. And I took an ohmmeter, and I found out when we're in position one, the top black wire and the, the bottom black wire are, are shorted together. So you get full power at one. When you put in position two, both these capacitors are in series. So the power goes into the one, both sides of these capacitors, and then both the other side of these two capacitors are hooked up to the output wire. When you put in position uh, three, only the big capacitor is, is in series. And in position four, only the small capacitor is in, in series. You can see this big capacitor is a seven microfarad, and the small capacitor is a four microfarad. So anyway, we're back here to this fuse, and uh, you know, what the hell, I mean, uh, it's skiing a little wire, I'm just gonna solder these two together. Uh, I mean, the circuit already has a circuit breaker, there's really no point having a fuse here. And this is some pretty thin wire. Looks like maybe 24 gauge wire. That, that'll that actually have a, a self-fusing kind of a thing. So let's just go ahead and repair this thing and put it back. Show you the disassembly. If we take a look at this thing, we can see that in the co each corner here, you can see this black potting in here, black potting uh, all four of the corners. Now this thing here, you can see, uh, See there's a little hook where my thumbs are right there. There's a little hook there, a little hook there. So basically, you kind of scrape away a little bit of the potting, and you can push these hooks back and pull this thing apart. Okay, I, I got the two pieces of wire to where they're touching. And the whole idea is we take a soldered iron, we get it nice and hot, get it, uh, melt a little solder on there, and uh, touch it to the two wires so they just barely get tacked together. And with the solder there and these wires, this will act as a natural fuse. Not that we need it, because like I say, there's a, a circuit breaker in line. There's really no point in having a fuse in this thing. There we go. There's the completed work. And now this whole thing is fixed. Well, I'm just going to use a little bit of glue here. This isn't actually super glue, but it's made by a super glue company. And just uh, I'm going to glue these tabs on here, and then this thing will be as good as new. In fact, even better, because it's going to be a lot more reliable. Well, all finished, good as new.